much is it? <gasps> that is pretty. It's 20 bucks. That's, that would look so good on okay, your place. I need you to help me because this is not secure right here, this little bobble. going to try something a little different with this video so let me know what you think in the comments about no music in the background and me having a mix of the real audio and some voiceover oh these are Czechoslovakia these will fit in my suitcase I must have these Do you like seashell ocean themed stuff? Yeah, these aren't real. They're pictures, so they're not really bathroom worthy. Wasn't exactly sure what this piece was for. I'm still looking at things for your little your mothball. <laughs> I really like this plate. Don't put that down because I'm getting anxious. I really like this plate. For two dollars and fifty cents, I'm gonna get this plate. The prices are really good here. I know. Well, they were at the last one we went to too. Oh, these are so pretty. Oh, I really like these, but I don't know if I can get these home in one piece. Yes. Actually, that's not true. I do make tea quite often, but never. How many tea parties do you have? I could have a lot more if I had an actual tea. Now you guys are too sweet. Oh, these are Nortaki. These are nice. Well, it's about time somebody noticed. It's an expensive head. Don't eat that, baby. I have to remember turn slow. That's my worst offense as I whip around. <gasps> I'm, yes, I'm having a lot of fun already. And I'm thinking I'm going to end up getting another suitcase, otherwise I'm going to have a really heavy suitcase. I know, these are like, talk about cute little ashtrays. I really, I like these. I'm going to get these. Mm. Didn't you say you like milk plus? I do. It does. But I can't drink out of it. No, I'm not talking about drinking out of it. Just putting your plants in something like that. Ooh, that feeds. Oh, there you go. How are we scoring with 50% off again? I am so excited. Wait, how much are these flowers? Because I could stuff these in my suitcase. Two fifty. Nah, it's still too much. Jordan, did you see these? 
I mean, it's only one. Oh no, they've got they've got a, an entire set of this. See, this reminds me of Mimi. Cause she had the pussy willow trees in the backyard. Oh, these are very nice. Oh, but I can't get these home. There's no way I can get those home. I don't know. I don't see anymore. Oh, they, yeah, no, they go that way. Yeah. Barrett. Good morning. Welcome. Oh, I think I got the green ones that match these. It's the little basket that you were in. Look at this. Candle holders. Oh, they're so cool. Gosh, if I was home. Hold on. Oh, those are fun. Those are fun. Look, look at those little. I love those. This set is by Steubenville, made in USA. I could not find any sold comps on the blue laurel pattern, which is what this was. There are some things I didn't even bother to put my hands on, knowing that everything I was buying had to be packed into a suitcase. But I did like the red transferware. Avon bottles. I'm sure there are still some Avon bottles that sell, but I just don't even look at them. And then I spot this. Uh, yes. This was a nice painting, probably, you know, just uh, a person who it was their hobby painting. I'm showing you the edge so you can see that this is actually a real painting. One of the things to look for is the paint coming over the edges. Sadly though, uh, it had a big rip right in the middle.
So we pulled into this complex that is literally like all thrift stores, but this side closed. But this side, say hi. We've got a couple of them. So let's go see what we can find. I didn't realize it when we first went in, but this thrift store is actually owned by two of the stars of the Storage Wars series. So they knew their prices. They knew their stuff. Do you like it? Do you want it? I kind of do, but not for $6.99. These are Fire King. Maybe. They look like Fire King. Hi, Michelle. I have a tool question. I love this. I'll be like, yeah, thank you. Oh, more Steubenville. What is this? I'm finding lots of Steubenville here. This is 1950s Steubenville. Not there yet. Oh, here's, this is the pattern I was telling you about. The Franciscan Desert Rose. Oh, Auntie Lynn, that's what we ate off of this when I would go up to Auntie Lynn's. And uh, it just has really good memories. Really good memories. Hey, did you like, look at this piece. Like, I like the mat. The matness of it that would clean up really nice too. That other other stuff is a dime a dozen. Oh, and there's a that's an apple. Oh, that's an interesting piece of art glass. Oh, 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 oh. Are you dying over there? Oh, it's missing the little. Gosh darn it. Okay, we're going to plug this in and see if this works. Is this the show you were talking about? What do you mean? Oh, come back. I can't carry everything. I need, I need another hand. Look at this sweet little thing. Oh my gosh, I've never seen a porcelain. Thing. It's from Austria. How much is this? Ten bucks. Mm. Not sure it's worth ten bucks though. This is a piece of art glass and this particular style is called feathered and many really good glass makers used this technique. So I was looking for a signature. Rewatching this video, there might have been one there, but I missed it at the time. You're gonna ditch me? I'm just doing this stuff and oh, there's more stuff over there. Crap. They have some really nice things, but they got, they're priced. I kind of want a grandfather clock in my house. I don't know if this is vintage or not. Look into a grandmother clock. Sorry. This chair was so cool. I might have been tempted to buy this had I been home in Las Vegas, but can't get this in a suitcase. And these. At first I thought these were vintage. It took me a minute to realize that these were all repros. Look at all of them on the shelf. You know what this type of basket is called? butt basket. It's a butt basket. Whoop, whoop. I was telling her it was a butt basket. How much is it? Oh, that is pretty. It's 20 bucks. That's, that would look so good okay. in your place. I need you to help me because this is not secure right here. This little bottle. Oh, that was my shoulder. That's a nice Amari lamp. 
Let's see if I was home. I would consider that. Did you see this old um, Pink. ceiling? I don't want the ceiling one, but I just want the wall one. I'm not even going to plug this in, probably. No, I wouldn't. Yeah. Did you look underneath here? What's underneath here? Look at this old scale. Oh, that's so cool. Oh my gosh, there's glass like tucked under here. There's glass everywhere. Oh, a little carnival glass yeah. pen. Carnival glass. Oh, tons There's of a bunch of little pens. Oh, I miss this table. Isn't it cute? Um, I could get. Oh, watermelon dishes are cute. Oh, your package hasn't come in yet. Hmm. Well, hopefully, maybe it'll come in today. The day's not over. Mm, we're having fun. We're having fun. We're having fun. <laughs> oh, look at this ball. That's beautiful. Another beautiful clock. This is an example of crazing that they actually added to the piece versus crazing that happens just because of the age. Did you see this big old cowboy coffee enamelware? It's 30 bucks. I told you I want to find a Coleman Oh, look at the copper set, tub. Right? You got the copper tub under there. That's cool. <laughs> Sadly, the clock did not work and it was missing some pieces, so it was priced a little high for the condition it was in. Do these do anything for you? little molds. Oh, they're, oh, Le Cordon Bleu. Oh, they're Franklin Mint. They're cute.
What? Whatever that is. <laughs> Whatever that is? That's pretty. Luster wear. Right. Look at that rug. Ha! Huh. I love it. I would totally put this in something. Actually, I really do love that. Well, we're about wrapping it up here. They have some really expensive pieces up front. Uh, but this store, they look everything up. They know what they have. So this would actually not be a store that I would shop at for resale for that reason. Uh, but it was fun to go in there and see all the treasures, like all of this Murano glass. So there's several more parts coming, so be sure you subscribe and hit the little bell notification so you know when I upload the next one to see all of my San Diego thrifting adventures. Bye, see you on the next one.